Hello and welcome back to another Jamesy Tech YouTube video. In today's video, we are going over the ISC2 Certified in Cybersecurity Exam. Why you might want to take it, why you might not want to take it, how to get it for free. Along with that, free study guides and online training for this exam. Going over the domains and all of my experience taking the exam. And yeah, guys, so if you guys want to watch that, make sure to watch this video to the end. And if you guys like this video, make sure to go ahead and hit that like button. And if you want to see more of these videos in the future, hit that subscribe button. Turn on those notifications because I don't upload often. And when I do, I feel like they're great videos. So if you're someone who has not heard of uh, the Certified in Cybersecurity exam, or you haven't even heard of ISC2, formerly known as ISC Squared, this is a uh, cybersecurity company that is uh, has multiple certifications that you can obtain from them. Uh, the most known one being the uh, CISSP, which is like the top of the level cybersecurity uh, certification. So that is the company that it comes from. It is the lowest tier certification that they offer. However, they do have an incentive to give out one million uh, free certified in cybersecurity exams. So that is how you can get your free exam voucher. Um, and, the, and later in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to actually do that. Before we go ahead and jump into my experience, let's go over of the of my overview of the exam and what I think this exam mostly goes over, how it will look going into the exam, and how you might want to study for an exam like this. So, uh, this exam is two hours long, 100 questions. However, out of those 100 questions, 25 of them will be more research questions. I'm not sure what you call them, but they're not scored essentially. Uh, a lot of exams will have these questions. But 25% of those questions are not going to be scored. Uh, you won't know, obviously. It's just part of the exam. So they'll have 100 questions, 75 scored questions, and you have to get a 700 out of 1,000 to pass, which is pretty standard in the certification space. 700, 750 is normally a uh, passing score for most exams. Um, and it does go through Pearson View testing. So they have, obviously, testing centers around that will... That are sponsored by Pearson View, or I believe they offer some online exams based on where you live. If you don't have any um, exam uh, proctors around you or places you can go to take the exam, I believe you can take this test online, but there are more steps to do so. And yeah, so let's go right ahead and get into the domains. So the domains are going to sound really similar to the Security Plus domains. So the first one we got is Security Principles, which is 26% of the scored questions. Then we have business continuity, disaster recovery, and incident response concepts. That's around 10%. Then we got um, access control concepts, which will go ahead and be 22% uh, of your exam. Then you have network security, which will be 24%. And then lastly, they have security operations will be around 18%. So those domains will be going over very, very basic and entry level uh, cybersecurity knowledge, terminology, things like, things like that. Um, but now we're going to go over my experience taking the test. So to be 100% honest with uh, this whole situation, I took this test yesterday and I found out about this test three days ago. That's essentially what happened. Um, I found out that they were offering free cybersecurity certifications and obviously I love free. So I went ahead and took it as soon as possible because I am studying for the Security Plus exam. So now that we went over the domains, let's go ahead and explain why you might want to take this over the Security Plus or my, why you might want to take the Security Plus over this exam. So in my opinion, the Security Plus exam, even though I haven't taken it, I believe that it would, it would be a lot harder this, than this exam. Maybe not a lot harder, but it definitely is harder and uh, definitely more in-depth than uh, this exam. This exam was pretty broad. They didn't talk about very... Uh, specific technologies but more so the knowledge of cybersecurity and the concepts of cybersecurity um, a lot of people also claim that this is definitely below the security plus so if you're someone with the security plus i wouldn't take this test unless you just want to take it and see what happens um, this probably won't be any good for you to be honest but if you're someone who doesn't have any cyber certifications or you're a student in cyber things like that or if you're someone who wants to get into the cyber space and you want to see if taking certifications is something we want to do i mean honestly it's a free test so you can't really go wrong with it um if you fail you fail it is what it is um but this exam is pretty uh pretty entry level for cybersecurity. i don't think that this certification alone would get you a job it might help with other certifications and experience etc those types of things obviously experience is going to be way more valuable than a certification but if you add this along with your current resume with some certifications or some experience, then I believe it could help you uh, get another job or potentially land an entry-level cybersecurity role. 
So to go over a little bit of my experience taking the test, to be all, to be completely honest, I found out about this test three, four days ago, and I took the test yesterday and I passed. I felt like it was really easy for uh, my uh, knowledge. But I have been studying for the Security Plus for a couple months now, and I do plan on taking it here in a month or so. So as someone studying for the Security Plus, if you want to see if you can pass this test, I would absolutely do it. If you're someone who doesn't have the Security Plus and thinking about it, this might be a good start to see uh, where your, I guess, where your knowledge is. If you can pass this exam without much studying, you are already on a, the right foot for cybersecurity. Obviously, if you have some experience in the field, these exams are going to come to you kind of naturally because some of these concepts are already something you, you use in your everyday life. Uh, but as far as my experience, um, I'm CCNA certified. I have a couple, uh, I have the CCST certifications, one of them in cybersecurity. I took those about a year ago. Uh, those exams were relatively easy as well. Uh, but as far as cybersecurity, this is kind of like my first main cybersecurity certification. Hopefully the Security Plus will be next. Um, and yeah, so I don't really think it was very difficult for somebody who's studying for the Security Plus. So if you're doing that, absolutely take this test if you can. And yeah. So now that we talked a little bit about the exam and what it's about, let's go ahead and show you guys how you can get this exam for free. I am not sponsored by ISC2. No, nothing. Uh, I just took this exam. I'm not sponsored by any means. Um, it'd be cool though. So now let's get into how to actually get this exam for free. They have it straight on their website. I'll have this link in the description below so you can access uh, this. So let's go over exactly what they uh, read. ISC2 pledges 1 million free ISC2 certified in cybersecurity courses and exams. So start your journey. One, you want to obviously create an account. If you have one, sign in. Then you have to complete an application form, which is pretty much basic information about you. Nothing too crazy at all. Once the application is complete, you'll be a candidate. Candidate's pretty much someone who's going to be taking an exam. Um, it's free to join. Uh, you'll have access to their online training. So if you're someone who does ha has no experience in cyber, maybe some experience in IT, you can follow their self-paced online training course. Um, and then they have a code that you can enter when you go to buy the voucher to get it for free, essentially. I'm not gonna put the code below because they will give that to you. Um, and I don't want to people watching this in the future to use an expired code. So I'm just going to let you guys find it. It is very easy to find. Uh, upon passing the exam, uh, you do have to pay a $50 annual maintenance fee. That is because you are an ISC2 member. That is if you do any ISC2 exam, you're going to have to pay that $50. So that is a little disclaimer. It is a free exam, but the, uh, the uh, membership to ISC2 is a $50 annual membership. But if you're someone who uh, has taken exams before, you know that is pretty much nothing compared to uh, a lot of the other exams that you could pay for. Um, but yeah, all you do is press this get started button and that'll pretty much take you to the application page and you can fill that out, uh, schedule your exam and take it. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have for this video. Someone suggested on my LinkedIn to make a video about this since I just passed it and you know, I thought that was a good idea as well. Uh, I need to make more videos on here more often. School, work, everything. It takes up a lot of my time. So I try to do these while I can. This is a hobby of mine. I do plan on making more cybersecurity videos in the future. More specifically, maybe diving into some sort of malware, some types of like individual concepts, things like that. Um, as I advance in school and stuff, I'll be learning more and more and more and having more knowledge to share. That's kind of what this channel's for, is to share my knowledge and, uh, see what you guys have to say about that uh things like that um i appreciate you guys for 700 subscribers i believe we just hit that so i appreciate that everybody uh i'm glad this channel is enjoyable for most of you guys and yeah thank you guys for watching this is jamesy tech and i will see you guys next time Bye bye